So I'm Chad Kincaid with That Grape Juice. Hello, Tom. Hello, Robert. How are you both today? Good, Very man. Nice. How are you? But yes, I want to say congratulations on season three. You are back as Luther and Klaus. And I just want to know, how do your characters evolve and develop this season? Well, uh, I think when we arrive in this world that we you know, is not our own and we don't have the pressures of being the Umbrella Academy anymore. I think for Luther, um, he initially lets go of a lot of those until everything, you know, starts to go to pot. He's, he kind of goes, okay, cool. We can just hang out here then. And uh, with, with that comes a, a funner side to Luther, I think, but he falls in love, you know, and we see a softer side and we see a side that he's able to, to really let loose and live out his teenage years that he never got. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it, it's been fun for me to play as an actor this season. And then I think Klaus has to try to learn how to love himself. God mm -hmm. knows he's to learn how to love himself and not be so self-destructive. Mm -hmm. you know? Right, right. So I have to ask you now that I know I can ask you away. Episode one, the dance scene, Footloose. Tell me all about it. How was it preparing for that scene? Well, we in fairness, we ample preparation which yeah. was comforting because we were all pretty terrified when we were shown professional dancers doing the dance that they expected us to do we were all uh, pretty petrified that we weren't going to be able to pull that off but we uh we you know pressed on and uh despite covid restrictions and everything else and huffing and puffing in a dance studio <laughs> with a mask on yeah we uh, we we just practiced the the shiz out of it for about two and a half weeks yeah, before every we day, actually yeah. had to f record it properly. So um, we had a good lead up time, and it was really good fun. It's really good fun ritualizing a group experience yeah. with dance. I want to do more group dance. I think that's <laughs> it was a really powerful sort of group feeling. I got. Yeah. Well, I'd be I disappointed on season four if it didn't happen to the one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And how about you, Tom? What was your experience throughout the whole thing? Oh, likewise. I mean, I second a lot of what Rob says. You know, first I was absolutely terrified, thinking there's no way I'm going to be able to move that quickly to music um, and uh, make my limbs go in those directions. But uh, then, yeah, as Rob says, you know that, that the unity of it when we all came together as a cast and especially all these new cast members who we didn't know yet and then that was a an opportunity for us to really get to know each other mm. through that whole process and particularly me and jen as well who, who we had to do this love story coming up you know it was an opportunity for us to to bounce around and play with each other and get familiar with each other because sometimes when you go straight into like a love story yeah. and you don't really know the person it so can sometimes be hard leave the money on the bedside table yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not, that sort of yeah transactional feel to it yeah, yeah. um but it's uh yeah this this was a great opportunity to do that so we got to know everyone it was it was really lovely well absolutely and i can't wait to see more of it and i hope you guys come back for another season congratulations on season three once again tom robert thank you for your time oh, Thanks, pleasure. Man. Thank appreciate you. it god All bless right.